Welcome to the Breakdown and Prediction, Volume 80 of the Double RT Boxing Show. I am your host, Mr. A, and we're breaking down a highly anticipated fight. Jorge Linares taking on Vasily Lomachenko. Good fight, good fight. Two styles, quick on the feet, angles, body movement. Who's going to give? Who's going to give? And we're going to do the breakdown, paper, get the numbers out the way. Then we're going to go into the physical form inside the ring. Now, Jorge Linares is coming in at a 69-inch reach to the reach of 65 and a half for Lomachenko. That right there might be the, the, the ticker, the clicker, the, the, the push over the edge that everyone's probably going to be looking at. He has a one-inch height advantage at 5'8", 5'7", 32 to 30 years old, same realm. Even though Vasily is the great Olympian, two-time gold medalist, uh, World Series boxing um, background, but as a professional, 93 rounds to Lenores, 292. Mm, you could say that, but well, Vasily is... Amateur background probably cancels that out. Now, the professional record themselves, 44 and 3, 27 knockouts. With all all three of Jorge Linares' losses were knockouts. So, will will this with a, a streak continue? Will this be a loss or by knockout, or will it be a loss his first not knockout loss? The 27 knockouts. He's fighting at a 57 knockout ratio. Well, Vasily's coming in 10 and 1. You know, we, we know he lost his second fight against uh, Orlando Salido. Uh, he has, what, three, eight KOs. It's Southpaw taking on the Orthodox. Um, this is going to be for the 135 pound WBA World Championship, the lightweights. It's going to be movement. This is going to be a good chess match fight. So when we say movement, we know well, let's start with that category right there. The legs of these guys. Both these guys know how to go in and out. Angles. Who generates more power? I guess the only. I say Lenares stays in the pocket longer, and he generates more uh, power through his legs. But I say the better movement is Lomachenko. So I'm going with Lomachenko on the legs. I think he goes in and out and, and, and sounds better on the, the, the um, angles. Whereas defensively, I'm easily going with the Lomachenko on this one. I don't think he gets hit as much as um, Jorge Linares. Had a nice little pause right there. Jorge Linares does tend to be hit after his deliveries. Like we said, Luke Kuhan uh, Campbell was able to really put the pressure on that second half of the fight and get some a lot of clean hits on him. So defensively and legs, I'm going with Lomachenko. Offensively, I think I'm leaning on Jorge Linares. I think he throws combinations with more power than Vasily, while Vasily uh, is more better at they both do it well. They both throw speed variations to set up the hard punch in between their shots. But I'm just going with uh, Jorge Linares on that factor because I think when they do throw that fastball, I believe his fastball has more zip on it on his punches. Now, the key... Uh, I don't know who's favored in this matchup. But for Jorge Linares to win, I believe he is going to have to keep this an inside fight. I don't think he can afford to be on the outside. Even though he has the longer reach, he can try it. He could try and uh, keep 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 uh, the jab pumping and let 
I guess that would be a safe fact, but I just don't think he has. That's not his. That's not his forte. I see. I don't see Jorge Linares as being behind the jab. To me, he's going to have to break the inside of Lomachenko down, and then occasionally, you know, take a step back jab and let uh, Lomachenko rush into something. You know, he can't. He can't be on the ropes. You know, where Vasily, I believe he's going to have to put pressure on, apply pressure, work the body, and use angles. You know, don't don't be in front of Linares. Now, who I'm going to go with, I'm going with Vasily Vassell to win this fight. I think it's going to be a, a pretty good, tough first four or five rounds. But I think Lomachenko has better feet, like what I mentioned. And I think he's going to pick up the pace. Because I think Linares, as good as he is at the combination punching and the, the variation speed change-ups, he likes to fight at his pace. And as you've seen in some of his fights, he does have a tendency to gas out in a second. Not tremendously, but if you make him fight where he wants to rest, it'll really mess up his offensive flow. And I think Lomachenko is going to constantly be pressing that action making him fight where he wants to rest. And I think round six, seven on, Lomachenko is going to start pulling away on those gaps where uh, because of that, he's going to press the action on Linares. So whenever Linares is going to try and rest, Lomachenko is going to press that action, make him fight, make him fight. And I think he's going to start landing cleaner hits, more hits. And I got uh, Vassell Lomachenko winning this fight uh, big. Big on the second half and becoming the new WBA World Lightweight Champion right here on the Double RT Boxing Show. This is your host, Mr. A. Thank you for your support. Thumbs up and subscribe, people.